How's it, Cannon lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you can see, today it's the future star, 90 rated. Kai Havertz. We're going to review him today and see what he brings to the table on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. It was between him and Awa, but um, I, I left it to a Twitter vote. By the way, if you're not following my socials, Twitter at Marshall89HD, Facebook, I stream every single day over there, Marshall89HD, and uh, Instagram. I post a lot on Instagram right now, Marshall89YT. Every single one of those are in the link description below. So, um, yeah, well, are in the description below via link. So, um, yeah, in terms of Havertz, he did win the poll on Twitter over our so I'm gonna review him tonight for you guys because the same maximum was the same maximum it's, it's a one will take some time to get because you've got to play 10 games in online singles and it's very expensive as well 85 rated score for an 86 rated card or something like that it's a bit hefty but we will do that card like tomorrow or something like that so if you do enjoy this one bring that hype smash that like and let's aim for 1000 likes and not subscribe to the channel Get subscribing, lads! Uh, yeah, that would be massively, massively appreciated if you could. Uh, and without any further ado, have it. He'll play it calm and calm only. So let's get in the review. So here we go, then, lads. And as you can see, the price in the top left and top right, it hasn't really come down too much. It's 450 to 500k on the Xbox and it's quite similar on the PlayStation. Actually, the exact price of me doing this review at the time of me doing this review, sorry, is 490k on both consoles. So you can see he's very sought after on this game, and there's a reason man look at how many games i played look at how many goals he scored look how many assists 19 games played 27 goals and 13 assists this guy is a master on this game there's been nobody close to vinicius jr could have it get anywhere near him he's got a four star combo four star skills four star weak thirds and medium to medium work rates now he has left foot primarily and he is six foot two tall just wait till you see his in game stats because these are nutty you look at them and you'll pick some faults out strength aggression meds it's not that great, but normally cams on this game don't have that much strength. Aggression wise, it is quite low. Long shots, it is 78, but I've got to say, no kind of uh, worry whatsoever in game. His long shots are very good. It could be uh, attributed to his shot power, his finishing, or something like that. In terms of the pace, 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, very happy with that. He's got 99 attack position with the medium, medium work rates. That is very important. I'll get into that once we get the gameplay. 94 finishing, 85 shot power, 78 long shots, and 90 volleys. He's also got 98 vision, 97 short pass, and 86 long pass. In terms of dribbling, 89 agility, 81 balance, 88 reactions, 93 ball control, and dribbling, and 90 composure. And I told you, he's tall, he's got jumping of 85, and um, yeah, he's got stamina of 82, so he's never going to lose stamina. And he's always, always, always going to be involved in the gameplay. And see, this is for champions. I think this is last weekend, so it is quite a while since I've had him in my team. But my good God, did he make a lasting impression upon her. my squad and the way I was playing? Because what he was doing uh, was pulling the strings. He's a midfielder that knows his position, knows his role, is always in that position, the centre of the camp spot, makes a run, look at that, beyond Mbappe, uh, that's a great finish on his weak foot in the back of the net. So he knows his role and he plays it like, you know Frank Lampard, Frank Lampard in his prime, and I'm talking about real life, this is habits on this game. He plays very, very similar. He breaks beyond the offense when you want him to. He sits there and creates when you want him to. This is George Best. Look at Havertz running on the right-hand side. He get, um, gets the ball, cuts inside, and that's a beautiful finish on the stronger left foot. A fantastic kind of time finesse into the back of the net. So when it comes to pros and Havertz, there's many, 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 many pros with this card. So we're starting with the long shots. I know the stat is 78, but honestly, there is nothing to worry about with Havertz in terms of long shots at all. And I know, like, sometimes you can score a goal and someone says, that's a Hawitzer of a goal. Now it's a Haberzer of a goal because he is that good at long-range shots on this game. I see the bicycle. What is saved by Sergio Sendio? But again, the ball come to him, and this is just a plain hit. The power. The sheer power. Sensational. 85 shot power coming into play there. As he, ha uh, what was I saying? Haberzer. He, ha he does a Haberzer into the back of the net. This is like, uh, yeah, so uh, that's what I'm going to call it. In terms of finishing, he's great inside the area, just as good inside as he is outside of the area because he finishes his chances, he gets lots of chances in game, and as you've seen by his goal scoring record, he's uh, he's going to score them, lads, he's going to score them, as you see, nice interplay here, Mbappe into Havertz, Havertz breaks beyond the last man, he using that pace, gets a chance, and that's a low driven, it was actually going in, hence why it did go down as Havertz's goal, otherwise, that wouldn't have popped up on your screen, and it's a nice little finish in the back of the net, via a deflection, in terms of the best 
stats. You got the ball control, the short pass, and the key stat of day, which is the positioning, uh, the worst aggression and strength. And that's the only con I've got with the card is the strength. But I think it could be uh, because of his lack of aggression. He doesn't really hold on to the ball too well if he's under pressure. And that could be for his uh, lack of aggression. As you see, another fantastic finish there from Kai Havertz right in the top corner of the net. Now, you're not going to see all the goals that he did score because some of this was live on stream. Not, not what you're seeing in the background, but his record in general. Some of it was live on stream at fb.gg forward slash Marshall 89 HD. Nice little plug there in the background. But if you do want to see like live streams and stuff like that, follow my page over on Facebook. He steps up for a penalty, tends to keep the wrong way and puts it in the net. In terms of passing, this guy's a creative god. Honestly, <laughs> left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. You see someone running beyond the defense and you see the assist in a short while. Honestly, just press the pass button and it will come off so damn easily. And look at the height of this guy. He's got a leap on him. He's got height in general. I think he's like six foot two tall. And um, yeah, he's going to win headers, man. He's going to win the ball in the end. He's got 80 head accuracy. It's going to go in the back of the net. So if you want to play him a little bit more advanced and get him involved in the gameplay, maybe have like the instructions stay forward on him. You'll get in those positions and he will score headers. Positioning. And speaking about positions, positioning is phenomenal. Honestly, I, I know uh, medium medium work rates. I was worried. I'm not gonna lie. You guys are probably worried as well. But um, it didn't seem to matter at all. Maybe it was his attacking position coming to play. 99. He was just always involved, and that's what you want. That's what you want on this game. You spend 450, 500k on a card. What do you want them to do? Get involved in the game. Get goals. Get assists, and get you results. Havertz, he guarantees you that if you're a decent player on this game, Havertz will get you results. In terms of pace, sensational 80 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. I've got no qualms whatsoever with that. That's a fantastic set of uh, attributes for a cam on this game. Like I said, he can burst beyond the attack, he can get in behind the defense, and um, yeah, his acceleration is good enough, and his sprint speed is definitely good enough as well. In terms of dribbling, it's always close to his body. He's got 93 ball control. It's quite quick because he's got 89 agility, 81 balance. So he is quite evasive on this game. He can and, uh, definitely dribble past players with his four star skills and the dribbling stats in general because his dribbling stat is 93 as well as his ball control. Very, very good dribbling on this game. And of course, the four star combo. The four star combo is great for this card because honestly, that four star weak foot, it comes in clutch. Now, I've used a lot of three star weak foots recently, uh, like so, uh, Win Rooney, for example, three star weak foot. Actually, he's got three star skills. What the hell am I on about? It's not Win Rooney, it was another player. I'm not too sure who it was, but um, yeah, I've been using a lot of them recently, and uh, I've got to say, uh, four star weak foot is where it's at, man. It's where it's at. Maybe it was like one of the attackers, like Rafael Leal with a three star weak foot or something like that. Oh, uh, um, uh, what was it? Uh, the Brazilian striker from Hoffenheim, Jolinton or something like that. Jo I forgot it. Jolinton, that's the one. Jolinton. Um, yeah, it could be one of those players with a three star weak foot. I'm not too sure, but I have used someone recently, and I didn't like the three star weak foot. Whereas uh, this guy's got a four star combo. There's nothing to worry about in that category whatsoever. When it comes down to the category of the overall rating, like I said, will he come anywhere near Vinicius Jr.? Now, they're in different positions, of course, but in terms of their positional rating, will he come near to a 9.5? Lads, Kai Havertz is going to get the rating of a 9.5, which is the exact same as Vinicius Jr. Different positions, so different kind of rating system. But um, yeah, for a cam on this game, this guy's the bee's knees. He's very, very good on this game. He gets assists, he gets goals, he gets you results. A very good card in this game, 9.5. Value is 9.4. I reckon it's fully value for coins. In terms of value for coins, he's got 490k price tag on his head right now, which is um, it's quite extortionate. I reckon once this promo does kind of die down, well, actually, it's dead now. It's finished. It's uh, just sent maximum, which is available. Um, yeah, his price should start to come down a little bit because they're not that sought after. Uh, but Kai Havertz, if he drops like 400 key, I'd buy this bloody card up, man. He's very good on this game. And like Sir Marco Royce and whatnot, he's, um, he's better than the 88. He's, uh, he's probably equal to 90, and the 91 is probably better than this card. I haven't really used the 91, but um, yeah, looking at the 91 and stuff, I'd reckon that would be better than this card because the 90 was phenomenal. The 90 was phenomenal. In terms of enjoyment rating, 9.6. Like I said, it's like a prime in real life, Frank Lampard, whereas on this game, he just, he, he's so good, man. He's so damn good. I can't actually explain how good he actually is. You would have had to watch the video. If you skip to the end, you've missed out, lads. Go back, rewind it, and watch the goals and assist. Instead of the enjoyment rating, fully deserved another 9.6. He's, he's a creator. He's a finisher. He's a long shot take. He's a dribbler. He's a pace merchant. He's positioned.
original game is on point. He's an orchestrator team. He pulls the strings. He's um he's an all rounder. He's literally an all rounder. The only thing he can't do is defend because his aggression, his stand tackle, and his like interceptions, marking and whatnot. You don't use him at centre mid. That is just wasted. Don't use him at striker. Use him at cam. Reap the rewards. In terms of foot champs ready, this was mostly in foot champs, as um you would have seen on my stream and as you would have seen in the clips. It was mainly in foot champs. And um yeah, foot champs ready. Ten out of ten. Of course he is. He's a phenomenal player on this game. In terms of perfect links, you got a few Germans at Leverkusen, of course, but the main ones being Bellarabi's 83, Inform, and Jonathan Tarr. Jonathan Tarr would be a good link to this card, but you have to drop him back to like a CDM or something like that for the perfect link. In terms of strong links, you've got like some Marco Royce, Mario Gerson, Timo Werner, and uh, players like that within that league. That could be a very, very good uh, linkage to this card. And in terms of weak links, you've got to go abroad. I mean, yeah, you don't have much, uh, many options abroad of being from like Germany and whatnot. Maybe like Leroy Sane from Manchester City. I think that's a good one. In terms of similar players, we have Marco Royce, which I reckon he's very similar in terms of his uh, finesse shots on this game. I was, I don't know what I was going to say there. I was going to say something completely different, but finesse shots. Marco Royce is very similar. De Bruyne is very similar to this card, and so is Awa and his uh, future stuff. You want to see Awa next, lads? Comment section below if you want. Um, yeah, I want to do that same maximum as well. Key Pro will be the positioning. Uh, key Con will be the strength. And the best game style will be Sniper. And it takes them to a 96 racing per position. Cam, unbelievable, Jeff. And in terms of the best players, within Germany, within the Bundesliga, sorry, we'll start on the left-hand side. This is Bundesliga within that position. Mark Royce, Havertz comes in number two. Then we have Goretzka. Then we have, who, who's this man next? Who's this man next? Well, I'll put Ronaldo Sanchez there. And we'll have uh, UCL Rodriguez coming in at number five. In terms of the best, in terms of Germany within that position, Matthaus, Royce, Balak, Havertz, and Leon Goretzka comes in as well. And lads, that's where we're going to end the review. I hope you have enjoyed the day's review. If you have, you know what to do. You do it anyways, lads. So regardless of whichever uh, review I upload, whichever kind of video I upload, you always bring the support. So once again, if you have enjoyed, bring that amazing support. Smash a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thank you for all the support during Team of the Year, Future Stars, what the hell is next. But anyways, guys, still on this journey. Subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, if you have enjoyed, like, subscribe. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time. Oh,